come with us now, if you dare, down a rickety staircase into a dank, dark basement. What awaits? The Saturday Night Freak Show. <laughs> Welcome back, ladies and germs, to the Saturday Night Freak Show podcast. Every Saturday night, the Freak Show happens right here on your internet, radio, dial, iTunes, Stitcher Radio, TuneIn Radio, and more. Every Saturday, we watch a movie that's chosen by one of us in the group, Round Robin, and we watch, then talk about it for your listening pleasure. Who are the internet radio superstars of the Saturday Night Freak Show? Holly. Sean. Travis. And I'm Colin. And tonight, we watch the movie chosen by... Me. Who's Sean. that? Sean. <laughs> and what did we watch, Sean? We watched Ghoulies 2. Yes. Why not Ghoulies 1? Because it's boring. It's horrible. <laughs> <laughs> What year was like this? Well, not that Ghoulies 2 is fucking not boring and horrible. <laughs> right, right. But, you know, the, the whole... lesser of two evils is what we're going with here, apparently. Well, let's, like, okay, to me, the reason Ghoulies is famous is basically a, a toilet. fantastic cover fantastic. for the first Ghoulies, right? By the and way, little... which movie was shot, completed it all done. Which? Which? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Then they decided they needed to come up with uh, a good advertising campaign for the movie. That's when they came up with the ghoulie popping out of the toilet. And then they went back and shot all of, I, I think I counted it, like four seconds of that damn ghoulie <laughs> popping out of the toilet to put in the first movie. And that's it. Really? Like, that's all that's in that first movie. I remember the tagline was, they'll get you in they'll the end. They'll get you in the end. And, just, and for this one, just when you thought it was safe to go back into the bathroom. <laughs> I saw. Didn't that one poster say they'll get you again? Or in they'll the get end you again in like the that? end. Yeah, he crosses yeah. out with lipstick and writes it on but there. Am I crazy or did it, wasn't the first Ghoulies cover? Wasn't the little Both. green creature wearing a like little a jumpsuit or something? He was wearing suspenders. Like, a blue little, suspenders. Little, yeah. suspenders. And I was like, I was just thinking, I was like, I wonder if Child's Play because this is our. Uh, this is, eight, this is 87. 86 was wait, wasn't Ghoulies? This is, Ghoulies two is eighty eight. I think Ghoulies oh. one is eighty six. I think so. Because it was, these movies so were inspired by Gremlins, right? So Gremlins yeah, had in 1984, yeah. and then you had Ghoulies Critters. in Quick Succession, Critters? Critters, 86, and yeah. Munchies? Munchies, I remember. Oh, but Munchies. Munchies was more 90s, wasn't it? Maybe. Maybe it was a late comer to the, uh, the, the tiny... Terror, yeah, the tiny the alien things that are also rude, yeah, rude, rude and ugly, and they monsters. smoke and stir at tits, you know, like that's what they do. <laughs> 87 was Munchies, wow, 87 was Munchies, 87 was Munchies, wow. and a great cover that also had a great cover. So, there was like the little like monster, and like hanging like, onto like, a leg, like looking yeah, up the yeah, skirt. Yeah. It was like the lady in it wasn't the lady in red poster, except they had a yeah, I think it looks like it. A mm. monster She's looking wearing a red dress. dress. Yeah. Uh, or the woman or whatever the fuck. So that yeah. blows the hell out of my child's play came out, and then they put that little monster <laughs> in a kid's like outfit. Cause I don't Suspenders were all the rage in the 80s, like man. No, but he doesn't wear it in the movie. Not at all. Yeah. It was so, weird. In the first again, one? In the first yeah, one. not in the first no. one at all. That's why I'm like, I wonder why again, he has baby clothes <laughs> on. <laughs> the ad campaign came after the movie, so it's weird. Hmm. Maybe, yeah. uh, maybe it is after child. I don't know. I'm oh. just guesstimating or whatever, putting it out there. So, I mean, like, the whole gist of these things is, I guess, because, you know, Gremlins have been such a big hit, then, you know, it's like, well, we got to do something that has these little tiny puppet monsters. Do we not get enough Gremlins and Gremlins? Well, no, Apparently of course not. not. Even because though there's more Gremlins, Gremlins and Gremlins. wasn't even until, like, 91, 92, right? Gremlins 92, 92, was it? 90, 90, 90 or 91, 90? I think so, yeah. So, yeah, dude, that's a huge camp so from fill 84 that void to, yeah. With the tiny things. That was everybody going, all right, you motherfuckers did it all wrong. We're going to do Gremlins again and show you how it's done. Yeah. And especially for a more, I mean, you know, adult audience, really. All these, like, critters. I mean, yeah, they're not, like... Fucking, you know, they're not horrifying. They're not, right, they're not, they're genius, not high art. But yeah. they're a little, you know, Was more. Was Ghoulies rated R? Uh, the first Ghoulies? I'm pretty oh, sure. Maybe, no. You'd see, that's how you just watched it last I did. Night. I did not pay I'm attention. Sure. Was there just any fucks like, or uh, boobs? Uh, I believe the there was no boobs. There's no boobs in the series until part three. So and then there's weird. boobs wall to so wall. Weird. How many Ghoulies movies are there total? There are four Ghoulies movies. After this one, it's Ghoulies Go to College. And then Ghoulies 4, which gets rid of the monsters and goes with dwarves. Little people throughout mm -hmm. the entire thing, which apparently this is a series built on little people because they show up in all of them <laughs> randomly in the first one. He's got two servants Dude, that he Band. summons. Charles uh, Band, yeah, yeah. He's uses little, little things. Pe anything that's yeah. little, Charles Band. I mean, Charles Band is basically uh, almost like a modern day like freak when show was guy. Puppet Master, 87? Puppet Master was 88. 88? 
89? Um, oh, 89, 89, yeah, maybe. It was. maybe. Yeah. Ghoulies was PG-13. So oh, Charles wow. Band, he's a producer. He was like the Roger Corman of the 80s and 90s. Yeah, he just yeah. cranked Mostly stuff direct out. the video market. 89 yeah. was Puppet Master. He had a company called Full Moon Pictures, and they just cranked this shit out. Like, you oh, know, geez, literally, stuff. it was just, yeah, I, yeah. Dr. Mostly Dr. Stop, Dr. stop no? motion yeah. animation. I looked at his credits. Like, He's a producer on like 50 million movies. Oh, yeah. Yeah. All of them were just low budget well, shit. Well, his goal, yeah, the, the mantra for Full Moon, I remember in the 80s, was uh, 2000 by the year 2000. <laughs> <laughs> they do. Well, they came close. <laughs> yeah. They yeah. almost got there. I mean, I grew up loving Charles Band just because he was the first, I don't know, it was easy to get his movies right they were in the video store either when your parents didn't really know what you were watching or right. you go stay the night at a buddy's house yeah you know it, they were easily accessible they weren't like you know so hard. we were later in the 80s that were you know these things weren't so hardcore and gory but they just yeah. had the ideas of you know oh my god little monster yeah, yeah, yeah. and you know subspecies Subspecies, little vampires, dude. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, man. Little All right, so but run, this dude. was uh, so this period though. This is actually before Full Moon Pictures comes about. So originally, Charles Band started a company called Empire Pictures, yeah. mm-hmm. and to do that, he bought. That's why I don't know where his capital came from, but somehow he was able to buy Dino De Laurentiis's old uh, like movie production <laughs> city in Rome called Cinecitta, and he renamed it Empire Studios, and so then. All of the stuff like Cellar Dweller, uh, the Stuart Gordon movies, Reanimator, mm, From yeah. Beyond, Dolls, they were all shot in Rome. And so then you start seeing like in the credits, you know, like they would have, uh, I don't know if it's Dario Argento's crew, but at least, you know, the makeup guy, Sergio Still Vitelli, who did all the Lucio yeah. Fulci movies, did like Cellar Dweller and, <laughs> and Ghoulies. Makeup effects. Right. Uh, they must have been cut out of the movie for all we know because we just watched Ghoulies too, <laughs> and there's like zero afford. gore in the entire movie. Yeah. This is a movie full of moments where people there are menaced by little creatures wielding uh, knives or pendulum, you know, the pit in the pendulum, razor pendulums and guillotines, and you don't actually get to see anything happen. No, apparently in the uh, Scream Factory release on Blu-ray. All the deleted scenes are the extra gore parts. So they do exist, the and they have been released. Extra gore. I like the way you're saying well, that. Um, <laughs> the extra the gore. scenes are the gore. The actual There's gore. no extra gore. I think we saw part of an amputated arm, and that was it in this movie. Yeah. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that was that it. Was that was disappointing. It, it really was. Yeah. Yeah, that's Charles Band. So. Uh, just, uh, you know, it's like, you bought it. <laughs> you know, he's off yeah. running. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Is he doing that on purpose? Just like, we're going to give him the bare minimum. Oh, dude. It puppet, was cost cutting. Dude, I mean, up his to whole thing master, is, like, he had a budget. You know? If you get to mm. Puppet Master, um, I'm going to say, starting with, okay, there's like 10 <laughs> Puppet Master choices. movies. There are. I want to say starting with Puppet Master 6, most of the movies consisted of backflash scenes from the other movies or stock footage from the other movies. I mean, it's right. just like, mm-hmm. holy fuck. That's yeah. why part 10... <laughs> Takes place wow. at the uh, at the uh, hotel that oh, the first one takes place, and that way they can use fucking stock footage of the opening, <laughs> the B roll, or yeah, because they it, shot. Oh, oh my right. god, dude, it's wow. just like It'll you just match fuck, the scenes. man. Yeah, well, his. I mean, that's a. Th- I mean, like, it seems like his earlier Charles Band's earlier movies had some kind of funding. Yeah, you know? I mean, Reanimator, dude, maybe a low budget jocks, movie, but Robot Jocks, you know, arena. from beyond. Yeah, they have like some type of production. Even though it's low budget, but by the end of, you know, by the time you get to the 2000s, he's doing stuff for like a dollar ninety-five. Maybe it's because we were coming off of Jedi, so he can get more money for his sci-fi type stuff. Yeah, there's just a Maybe market the for thing. it. And I think that whole, like, the rental, I mean, that was the age of the, the video rental, right? Yeah. Where you go and just rent whatever the fuck was on the shelves, and they would just crank this stuff. I guess they still do. Like, there's oh, those yeah. companies like The Asylum or, uh, you know, whatever. Oh, God, that, that do yeah. those direct-to-video things oh, yeah. now yeah. that go to Netflix. It's like, how Major come Charles Band hasn't through, monopolized yeah. on or capitalized on that right. market? 
Maybe he is out there making stuff. Maybe we're just not aware of it. Oh, so far up there, sure. Netflix well, Horror Joys Horror Joys and Ragdoll and, and like, like Ginger Dead Man. I mean, oh yeah, dude, ago? the Evil Bong and all that. But those dumb are yeah, like that's like five old. Evil Bong movies. Yeah, it doesn't Evil Bong, fi- Evil he, Bong, high five, dude. Go to the Red <laughs> Box. The Charles <laughs> Band has something on there. He's still, you know? he's still, he's still cranking he's them out. Still, it. I mean, he doesn't have any money. Or <laughs> no, not at all. Evil Bong 3D. Oh my God. Yeah, he's Evil Bong 420. But he did have a little uh, piece of uh, my heart when I was a kid. Like, seriously. Oh, yeah. The the Puppet Masters, all affected. Dangerous, our, our, uh, demonic, the, toys. demonic, demonic toys. toys. Doll Man. Doll, I love Doll Man. Transfers. Yeah. I've still never seen the original Transfers. Neither. That's coming yeah. it, it, to the Freak Show. Oh, Transfers? I've never, yeah, yeah, I've never seen Transfers, dude. Jack, Jack Death. Jack Death, yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Why yeah. have so, not watch that? Like, to, so to quickly get into this movie, um... So in the first movie, mm. it's really about a, a satanic dude that that had a son that was going to be sacrificed. Yep. A the mother stopped him. He's like, "No, yeah, you she's not going to let our him. son. Yeah, not our son." Well, it's like there's nobody else here. And then uh, uh, what's his name? Oh, I forgot his name. It's like uh, oh, fuck, I don't know. Hildebrand or something. Movie. Like takes the kid away, and then the demonic dude pulls out his wife's heart. He's like, "You will be the sacrifice," and her skin just like. Doo, doo. So she dies. <laughs> well, the kid like returns home and finds out. He oh inherits my God. the house, yeah, the mansion. He, and oh my God, my dad was a saint worshiper. Um, he finds all his shit. He raises ghoulies. He raises he little does. demonic imps that will do your bidding. Like multiple and, ghoulies, it turns that's, out. There's like it. two little sea monster looking ones mm. and multiples of Yeah, the there's others. the mole one. Yeah. There's like a the, cat. Was the cat one in the first the one? The cat was in the first one. Yeah, there was the little bat guy. He's in the first one. Yeah, the bat Yeah, the bat guy's yeah, in there. He's Somebody's just gonna are these the same puppets? I saw this no. movie, but it was oh, a while no. ago. They look so bad they in the first one. To it, they but... do look bad, but I think like the cat is the same. I know the sea yeah. monster one is is different. They've upgraded the look of it. Dude, they uh, had I think the cat one was all the same. Of them. Some of them they are look the same. Like, I mean, they look... The, the character design is the same. They These are the characters. These Ooh. are the t-shirts, the fucking lunchboxes, dude. <laughs> there were t-shirts and lunchboxes? No, there should have been. This is why there, you make these type I'm of movies, sure there man. Is. I would have gotten it, dude. <laughs> because that's a great image. Dude, look at Puppet Mask. All the, that's what Charles Band did know. He knew character design. And, like, how to fucking make a poster or whatever, you know? He knew how to no. sell this shit to little kids. So they weren't as muscly in the first one? No, they were. No, oh, no, they he was ripped. He was ripped. He was yeah, because yeah. he's an aquatic yeah. demon. You gotta have all that swimming abs gets you like built up. Yeah. <laughs> you get abs doing that shit. Yeah, yeah. so we should so all be swimming. I don't even fucking remember how the first one ends, but anyway, so we're Mike, he's we're left like with a dinner party, and he's got like Marishka Hargate shows up yeah. in this movie at some yeah, point. Yeah, you always have your friends come There's over, Dick, so turn but into you a can call movie. me Dick. He's a big character in that movie. He's a fun guy, but he calls him over, and they all like. Um, there's some weirdness in it too because there's scenes where they're all wearing like sunglasses and everything. Yeah, it's part of the movie. Well, part of the movie. This was, is part of his plan. It's part of the party. It is. His guys they, glow. But they started shooting the movie in 3D. That was going to be part of the release. Oh, so fine. that's why, like, whenever the characters put on their sunglasses, mm. you were supposed to put on your 3D glasses. That's fucking And far out in there. the movie, yeah. it cuts to different, like, scenes of weird shit going on. Mm-hmm. And then they take them off and it cuts back to, like, the normal dinner scene. Crazy. Oh. So you were supposed to be able to put them on when that shit happened and then take them <laughs> off. Like, three days into shooting 3D, they're like, no. We this is too this. complicated. Well, the 3D craze had ended by that. Well, no, he still kept going because The Creeps, which right. starred uh, <laughs> Phil Fond. Fonda Carlo? Fonda Carlo, or if, yeah. Yeah, who's like in Ghoulies 2 mm-hmm. is in there. That was 3D, like, well after the... He yeah. did Metal Storm, the destruction of Jared oh. Sin in the 80s 3D, but they're directed that by famous, Charles Band. That golden nugget. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's coming. <laughs> no, <our> Screen <laughs> Factory's bringing it out. Oh, yeah, the we Blu-ray's coming. I saw that. It, oh, yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah. So, but how, how does Ghoulies 1 end? I know the kid raises his father. And then the father comes back and kind of runs throughout the house, but re- is he reclaiming like, the Ghoulies as is his he, own. like, so mean to the Ghoulies, the Ghoulies turn on him? Is that what no. happened? I can't recall what happens. How do they defeat the ghoul? Or I just watched it last night. I know, right? Memorable? Probably some type of magic happens. It sucks them all into a vortex. Think, Was there I an 80s he, vortex? Well, I don't know if they get rid of the ghoulies or it's, like, it's one of those it's like things the, where, like, just like Puppet Master, where the monsters then attack the dude. Uh, they're supposed to, like, obey right. me, you fucks. And they're like, hey, I feel like they attack the son, and he's, like, because they're start, he's, they start attacking the people he likes, he snaps out of it, sort of. Maybe. And then he's like starts collecting the people he brought to the dinner party, and it's like, let's get out of here, and like the building collapses. Brought you as a like, sacrifice to demons. What was I thinking? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, basically, that's it. And then they drive off 
Into the Sunset with the one weird dude with the sunglasses in the back. And then, you know, like, whew, glad we left that all behind. And then the ghoulies just like, right, ah, pop right. up and then freeze frame mm. and credits. Yeah. My so, memory of this is just that it was so terrible. I tried to wipe not, it from my memory. It's not good. It's it feels yeah. like uh, the first Puppet Master. Yeah. Uh, come it on. does. <laughs> Damn it. Because, it even because, sounds like when you're describing it, I'm like, this is the same, exactly the same is plot. Because the humans master. were the focus of Puppet Master and the humans were the focus of the first ghoulies yeah. rather but, than the but ghoulies. At least Anyway, I'm not going to get yeah. Watch <laughs> so our we podcast. Had, we had that podcast. Uh, yeah. So, so Ghoulies 2. This starts off, yeah. It begins with these, like, Satanists, and we know that they're Satanists <laughs> because they're wearing red the stupid red, red cloaks, cloaks that all Satanists have to wear. And they're running out. through the woods with baseball bats? Well, be, it, you know, I mean, like it's a magic with, staff with or something. Uh, sure, clubs. Yeah. yeah. And they're chasing this dude who's a carrying... He's a priest. Oh, yeah. That's with right. a bag. Yeah, with a bag. Yeah. Oh, a bag which cats, leads to apparently. one of the best fucking scenes in the movie. <laughs> oh, dude. Where he oh. ends up in a, uh, a, a mechanic's shop, garage, yeah. and in there, they have a vat. Okay. <laughs> Is this uh, the right word, a vat? Yeah, yeah. 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 It's, a it's like an oil drum. Yeah. Yeah. Uncovered that contains warning label solvent. Dude, it was a, like toxic waste. Toxic, toxic waste. waste. Yeah. Toxic, toxic waste. solvent or something yeah. like that. Like, do not and leave in the middle foaming. of the shop open. It's like open. steaming. There's yeah. smoke coming It's like, what do they do with it. cars that you need that thing? But the guy actually makes a comment on this, right? Because we're like, this he is does. the most ridiculous fucking thing. <laughs> he's a priest. He's like, oh, thank you, Lord. He looks for, like this. Yeah. Thank you. So this was placed there by God to help him fight, battle the ghoulies. Dumps him in the thing. But apparently, like gremlins... The ghoulies multiply in uh, toxic. I they multiply, but you just can't affect nothing them. Nothing like, kills that's them. not going to kill them. Oh, so they yeah. were all in the bag. They were all in okay. there, yes. Because yeah. yes. the, then he falls in. It the kills, bat demon. It ki- yeah, the bat yeah. ghoulie flies the by. The bat ghoulie knocks him in. He dies. And they emerge unharmed. Right. Yeah. yeah, You can't kill a demon. And they stow away on a semi truck that is go. It's a carnival, right? This for Satan's it's, den is part of yes, the carnival. Yes, because they see the monsters and they're like, yeah, whatever the fuck. And <laughs> that's accurate. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty much what. They happens. do make these cute little noises. Oh, they do. Adorable. One of them's like. It sounds like a baby. It's he weird. Is like a baby. It's, weird. It's, weird. it's weird because the whole movie tries to get you to kind of like they're cute yeah. little monsters, yeah. but they're super mischievous. Like they're not like it's like trying to be the Mogwai and the Gremlin mm-hmm. together. Yeah. Yeah. Which yeah. kind of works. I don't know. I wanted, I wanted the toys. Uh-huh. <laughs> right. But uh, also the driver of this semi truck is a kid and his uncle who was played by. Royal Dano. Royal. From Who, House 2, the second story. And Killer Clowns from Outer Space. Oh, that's right, yeah. 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 Royal Dano used to be like, Dude, you know, one of these guys who was in like all these westerns and stuff. Always a drunk. Yeah, and it well, well, he used to be well, like in the, horror well, in, movies, yeah, in the later a, day, all the '80s horror movies. He's in, he's always a drunk. Well, he kind of has the well, career trajectory you know. like that you have of all these stars. Like as they enter their twilight yeah. years, right? They start doing all these parts for just the check. Yeah, and uh, you know, there's many scenes in this movie where once you've seen uh, Ed Wood. Where Martin Landau as Bella mm-hmm. Lugosi is yeah. fighting the big rubber uh, yeah. octopus, yeah. like that's how I see. Like every time you see these old guys like fighting these rubber monsters and they're crushing them to their chests, and the thing's <laughs> supposedly eating them, and they're like, ah, 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 ah. I just remember that scene and say like, how fucking ridiculous you must feel on this day <laughs> yeah. performing this scene. Yeah, there was, a guy with, there was a guy with multiple ghoulies on him doing that exact same thing in this movie. Like, <laughs> yes. ah, ah, and you twist about so their legs fly yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. So They're probably used to it. That's like old Hollywood, right? Old Hollywood is crank them out, yeah. Fucking Favorite write Hollywood. them later, you know? <laughs> yeah. We've got so, three yeah, they days fuck, and 50 bucks. Yeah, so they stole away to the goddamn carnival, which, like, I do, I've never made it past that part. And, like, nope. they take off in the fucking truck. I'm like, I'm done with this movie. I've always shut it off. But Always. tonight was a whole different story. Tonight I had I was forced to watch the whole movie. Yep. So yeah, what we do here. You. So the thing becomes like a uh, uh-huh. not like a parable. It's a comment on the idea that uh, old school horror stuff mm-hmm. represented by the the spook show at the carnival is becoming passe. Kids come mm-hmm. in and they laugh at, you know, yes. the ghouls and goblins and right. all that. Because what they're workers. exposed to nowadays is so far past what this has to offer. Yeah, right? and a, an accountant for the carnival Harden, yeah. is going to, you know, we're doing the books and we're, you If you know, don't make money, you're out. 
Yeah. Yeah. Well, this is the '80s. God damn it! <laughs> like yeah. anybody in a gray suit wants to know how much income you bring. Like, what do you have to offer to this establishment? Yeah. I have coke oh to buy. shit! Yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah. So he's going to shut them down and replace them with uh, women's mud wrestling. Not a bad idea. Not, not a, bad a bad idea. idea. I can no. see why. It's that, not a bad. I mean, like, take could... the harem dancers and put them in the mud wrestling. Right. Yeah. yeah. I think right? they could get All better, better girls than the harem dancers. I don't, I don't that. know, man. They're carnies. They had all their teeth. That's, <laughs> that's an excellent point. Yeah, True. that's a plus. That's and true. they were all under 40. I yeah. don't know. I know, right? <laughs> I don't know. I like They looked older than I think they were but, supposed to you know, that's be. But acting, not, as, right? not as rough as like actual carnies. It, somebody right, needs to yeah. make a true-to-life carny movie. Oh, oh my God! We're talking about Funhouse, motherfuckers. Oh, yeah, Funhouse. That's why I, Toby I was Hooper's Funhouse. That's talking, my favorite carnival horror because movie. Because the thing that that movie has is the fucking Barker in that movie. Alive, like, alive, alive. <laughs> yeah, I love He's the Barker. Great. In that He's movie. like the same guy who plays three different Barkers. He's awesome. Just one dude. Yeah, yeah. Dude, I love that I've movie. I've never seen this movie. It's oh, classic. Toby Hooper Funhouse. Yeah. Yeah. I've never yeah. seen that one. Eighty-one or eighty-two. Really? Yeah. That sounds interesting. Eighty-one or eighty-two. Yeah, because it was part of the. Yeah. 84, 84. No, no, no. It's like really early because when Universal, who is the movie studio that birthed the monsters basically back in the 30s, they in the 80s, there was like this window where they got into fantasy and horror stuff and did like all the, you know, the thing, mm. cat people, you know, all these movies came from that era. And the fun house was oh, one I love of it because they recruited the guy, the modern master of terror from the Texas. Chains Rick Baker the does the makeup oh, for really? the monster. That's fucking wonderful. genius, dude. It is genius. I love that movie. Aside from that, I need to movie. see Cat People because that has been mentioned so many. That must be the most mentioned movie on this podcast ever. <laughs> cat People? <laughs> really? I, can't, I, can't, I can't believe how many times I've heard somebody say Cat People on this and yeah. I have not seen it. We're Why are we to, not watching we'll have Cat to bring People? It. Shit, yeah. I got like this list of stuff I wanted to do for like the next couple months. I'm like, I just can't fit it all in. <laughs> <laughs> I got to put it on there. One day, Cat People, right? So the ghoul or the ghoulies just hang out in this one room. Right, basically. And the the idea torture room. is yeah. that they improve the the, the business over in like yeah. in a few hours, getting like puked on <laughs> right. by the because the two kids go in and they get they see like what they call the rats, <laughs> yeah, um, which is full. I think which is like one of them uh, furry we, little ghoulies. Well, it, all right, we have the sea monster ghoulie, we have the cat ghoulie, we have like the dog alligator ghoulie. Yeah, a mole. yeah. Okay, he's a, a mole. mole. There's, well, he's got like a pointy nose. It looks know. like a dog like, alligator. Looks, yeah, okay. yeah, there's yeah. like an alligator. There's like a dog version of one, and there's the bat one. Yeah. So they see like the the dog version of one, and I think it spits green goop at one of them and attacks them. They're like, this is the best. <laughs> <laughs> and then they yeah. go out and tell like the rest of the gathering crowd. In, yeah, they got and things in there. Like, they have things, and they attacked him, and they spit this on me. And Terrific. everyone's really like, let's go do it. <laughs> and they all run off. They're like, I want to see that. Yeah. So they all run off to the fucking Satan's den. And they all get in line, and they just start making money. And, and they all just stand in that room, just like, That's oh, it. my yeah. God. Rats! Oh, did, Look, we, rats. Didn't, we didn't mention... Rats. <laughs> it's just like, well, who are these chanting people? Rats. Who are we, these people? We didn't mention his uncle is like a magician, so to speak. And he, oh, yeah. he, he thinks, Very true. And he, he, he thinks he has brought these forward. He's like... Uh, well, he's a drunk, and he's got yeah. a book, like this ancient, old-looking book. And he somehow... There was somehow, a book in the first one, too. But... Well, I guess that's the tie, right? Well, some this is what I didn't understand about this movie was that, you know, he, because he's drunk and has blackouts or whatever, thinks that he has raised the ghoulies through you mm-hmm. reading out of this book and actually doing real magic. Or no, because yeah, he pulls a, he pulls a ghoulie out of a hat. Yeah. Yeah. And it's that's like, what? It's like, I must be the having the DTs. I'm yeah. seeing things. I'm hearing things, too. And then he becomes convinced that the only way to get rid of these creatures is to use magic from the book. Because if you brought them up with the book, you put them away with the book. But they didn't actually come from the book. No. No. For all we know, that book is just a prop. But it did pull, But he did pull it out of a fucking hat. Well, but, it was, all, but it was already there. It, I think the it was in the hat. Yeah. Uh, I no, think they, they were. They had already. In the hat, didn't it? No. They were already they infesting did. the funhouse, yeah, sure. so they were in all the shit that he sure. was fucking with, and it was like, so he's mistaken it. So then, I guess that's where like the logic leap the movie asks <laughs> you to take kind of broke for me. It was like, <laughs> wait, how this book that he's got? It's not actually a magic book. It's like something that old carny people have, like you right. know, as a prop. And somehow mm-hmm. we're going to use this as the manual now for banishing these demons yeah. back to Apparently. the lower. <laughs> 
Births of Hell. It would have been better if there had been, like, they'd try and made more of a connection between that and the first one. Because there is that little tiny book in the first one, oh. which is where he gets the incantations to bring about the ghoulies. See, that yeah. was going to be my question, is where are the parallels? What are What's connecting the two movies? Ju- the I mean, it's really just it's, the ghoulies and that's it. <laughs> that book, but this very thin very, line okay. on that book. Yeah, because the book, right. I mean, you can't even, like, I won't even say that. Because, yeah, it is played off as more of a joke that he mm-hmm. thinks it's, right. You know, it really it is. In the first Plus, one. No, in this one. Oh, no, in this one, The fact that you said that he's drunk and he yeah. thinks that the book works, yeah. it's played off as a joke, so. Mm-hmm. Plus, this one starts, like, this one starts like there was a whole other story between the first one and the second one, because right. you end up with a priest with a bag of ghoulies. Yeah. Being chased by Satanists. Yeah. Like, that story, <laughs> I mean, there are Satanists in the first one, sure. No, I want to know that story. But there is. <laughs> Those ghoulies 1.5. Basically, there's a story in between where the priest gets the ghoulies and is being chased by Satanists and dies. Yeah. So, the it's connection is really, like, where... thin. What you saw was the story. A priest gets the ghoulies yes. to, <laughs> yeah. to kill exactly. them. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's how it started. Like mm-hmm. a priest got the idea up his ass one day. He's just like, I need to kill the ghoulies. There's ghoulies yeah. there. And these Bag ghoulies em. are supposedly designed by John Carl. We're saying Beckler, Beckler. the guy, Beckler. Magical Media Industries, did a bunch of stuff in the 80s. Most famous, probably, he directed Friday the 13th, part seven, and designed the, worst. the makeup. But the makeup on Jason was very good. Yeah. So somehow, because this, I think, was the year before that. So somehow this got him the job and or whatever. Well, he also, but I'm pretty sure he... Worked on Halloween, one of the Halloweens. Well, he brought the whole... I think so. After four, Ghoulies. Four, four, I don't four, know if it was four, after five. Ghoulies 2. It had to have been after Ghoulies 2, I think. But he brought his designs to a toy company and made Boglins. Oh, you were talking really? about that Yeah, to teach time. kids puppetry, to get them interested in puppetry. Yeah. I fucking love Boglins. Their eyes move. They're, <laughs> they're like little creatures. Hmm. They're fucking awesome, man. I can't remember That's Boglins. what I always think of we when I think of Boglins. We were talking about that. Boglins and Mad Balls. I, I, bought one for, I bought one for, we went to a drive-in that was doing a retro horror night, and my buddy that owns a comic book store was selling some of them, so I bought a Boglin for my nephew. Huh. Fucking genius. <laughs> well, the creatures that are on screen in this movie may as well be Boglins. I mean, they're oh, you know, because they're a little bit more articulated. Oh, just but barely. They I mean, got eyebrow really, movement. Oh, dear Lord. Boglins. Yeah. Yeah, see if it is, because I'm pretty sure that they're all, de- like, the whole thing is designed by that dude. I'm pretty sure they he look, to, I mean, look at them. They kind of exactly. look like they They could look be, exactly like Yeah, them. those could be... Huh. The kid friendlier version of fucking ghoulies yeah. and whatever little monsters. But I'm pretty sure that guy had something Beakler? to do with it. Hmm. Beckler, yeah. That could yeah, be Beckler. bullshit. Everybody check Look at him. Oh, yeah, I remember these. You put your little hand in it. Yeah. You can move yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you can move like uh-huh. have longer arms. You can move around. Yeah, yeah very yeah. rubbery feeling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 But these yeah, creatures, I guess my point is, they look very much like puppets. I mean, this is no Yoda, right? True. Oh, no, very these much These things so. are, like... Yoda didn't look very much like a puppet to you? No, I thought Yoda gave, like, that was one of the best that was, that was an Oscar performances movie. Yeah, that I've ever well, okay, seen. Yeah, it was a performance. It looks like a puppet, but it's, it's, it's how you do the performance yeah, yeah, and right. moving the body. But that's the, the height. Yeah. But also, these things don't, they, like you're saying, they're articulated, and they, they blink, and they have the eyebrow and the mouth. They maybe, got lip but, movement. But it like, still seemed really restricted somehow. Yeah, I mean, well, it was a little. Yeah, but I mean, the gremlins seemed like they were more lifelike. To, Dude, I know they had a lot more yeah, money. Yeah, I was going to say, let's look at the <laughs> fucking budget of Gremlins and Ghoulies 2. So we should be saying, oh, well, at least the guys so, who were making Ghoulies 2 had fun doing well, they it. they advanced. And, from, from Ghoulies one? one? Oh, yeah, dude. Because, like, like uh, you can look at, like, Fandango clips of Ghoulies one. Like, quite a few. Like, there's, like, 11 clips. You can get a sense of what <laughs> Ghoulies one is on YouTube from Fandango clips. There's but, less Mariska the Hargate on those clips. The but monsters look so it. bad. The monsters look so bad. Like, they... Did he do the first... He did the first one, right? Who? This guy. James Beckler. 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 I mean, he Beckler. created the monsters. Like, those are his. Did he do the first one? So he did the first one. He did the first one. So I, he improved. So he gets the credit on all the movies, no matter what, whether he's involved with them or not, because he created them, and those are his designs going forward. So, but... Um, I don't think it had nothing to do with Boglins, though. No? No, they were made... I made that up. They weren't in, made in 1987 to coincide with, you know, ghoulies, critters, and gremlins. To coincide, with the, <laughs> to coincide with the little monster I, I'd always craze. Read, monster craze. I'd always the read, monster craze. I always read that a special effects dude brought that idea to a toy company, and I didn't know who it was, so I assumed that it was this guy. Mm. 
That's where I get this, my bullshit well, story. They may be, <laughs> Forget that, folks. They may be vastly improved over the designs in the first movie, but we're still going to say that they're pretty poor. I wouldn't say little. vastly. I'd say they're an improvement. I like... But the, still, like, below the level of, like, acceptable. Maybe, I, well, right? I don't know. They're not bad. Yeah, I still think they're pretty good for the time. Like, I look at... But, <laughs> see, if... Compared to I'm not saying they at, move around really good. No, I'm saying and <laughs> they had to go to stop motion to be able to do that. I look at things like Critters, which yeah. I think is far more advanced mm-hmm. as far as... Cr- yeah. Creature, well, like that is far more. more. They just go, rah, 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 rah. but, but they I think like, like they open maybe, and close their fucking. But I mouths. think that maybe that's part of the design. The critters are designed according to like what we can actually do with right, them. and they designed yeah. around that. Yeah, where the ghoulies are like, we're gonna sculpt this little creature, then we can't move. <laughs> Yeah. I mean, it really right. needs they did to pick be. Up, they picked up knives. They stabbed people. Like, yeah, they, they moved they a lot. Up knives and stuff. <laughs> and it was all shot close up, but so what? Yeah, yeah. it was all shot close up. <laughs> yeah. So that's why I don't like, I don't think it's that bad. Like, yeah, uh, if you want to compare it to modern day, yeah, sure, bad. But fuck. <laughs> <laughs> if you were back then and you were 13, you'd be like, cool, man. It's like all monsters, dude. <laughs> right? It was all just yeah, about like, monsters. I will, That's I what will. it was. There are a lot of ghoulies on screen in this movie. Yeah, there, so there you go. For sure. yeah. You are you getting what you were promised. It, they how, just don't do anything cool. How much True. are they on screen in the first one? It's. Mm, I'm not kidding. Peppered. If you compare it directly to Puppet Master. It is the same oh, amount of time. Okay, it's yeah. like the introduction of all the people, yeah. and then they pop up when you introduce them, and, like then they, and then they hide. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. they, they come out every fucking like <laughs> they do. three times in the movie. Or <laughs> they hide throughout wherever they're at, and mm. then they come out when they're needed for bullshit. Mm-hmm. And that's exactly what Puppet Master was. And exactly what they did. That's the first Atomic time. Monster movie. At movie, the folks. end, at the end, there's more of them because obviously it's the end, and you need to get them all in there. But it's even the then, end. there's not a lot of them. <laughs> yeah. Definitely, like they are the stars of the movies going forward in two, three. In two and three, because they're mm. not in four. Now, we forgot to mention the uh, the friend who is the dwarf uh, little person of fame. Didn't... Yeah, Phil, Phil, Phil Fondacarlo. Luck. Fondacarlo? Yeah, dude. Fondacaro. That guy's yeah. a genius. Yeah. That guy's like in every well, Charles Bay movie. Every, I want to say he's got to be at least in a few of the Leprechaun mm-hmm. movies. And here he plays <laughs> like an Safe English back. guy. So his name is like yeah. Sir Nigel, and he puts on an English yes. accent. And he's like the okay. Shakespearean actor of the group who's now relegated to wearing a monkey costume <laughs> right. and scaring kids in the funhouse. <laughs> But like, is that always a thing? The old guy was just like, I used to do Hamlet's in yeah, the park right, yeah, yeah. back now, in the day. <laughs> I played now King I Lear. Now I have to do this. Yes, <laughs> yeah. I played King Lear. And now yeah. I'm forced to do this. Yeah. But they have the. the I thought, the, I thought always, the dwarf yeah. and uh, the main kid were like two Larry. of the best actors. Like actually, like you know, our, uh, we're at slumming our, it. Our, Poor man's Johnny Depp. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yes. The, yes. <laughs> exactly. It looks like a dude who. Who like grew up to be famous somewhat, but I looked him up. He's nothing. I know. No, he, lo- he just he, looked like Johnny. The, 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 beginning scene, like the beginning scene in the truck when they just had the profile. I was like, "Is that Twenty One Drum Street, Johnny Depp?" Yeah, it, it looks his, like it. It was his hair. Yeah, yeah, that was, <laughs> was hair. yeah. We gotta check and see who the hairdresser was. <laughs> They're like, mm, mm. <laughs> "Find Depp's wig guy. We need him for this." Yeah. <laughs> there were a couple other, if you troll uh, '80s horror movies, other uh, appearances by other. Uh, not oh, famous, but not them. famous. Yeah, but if you famous. see the movies, you know who they are. Like yeah. I said, uh, it's like, oh, it's that guy. Oh, the little <laughs> the boyfriend from William, Halloween Four. That's Sasha. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, some with the Sasha. eyebrows. Yeah, <laughs> boyfriend from Halloween Four is yep. in this. Uh, William Butler, the guy who was in uh, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre Three, yeah, and also Friday, Friday Seven. Of, yeah, he was the yes. the brother who never made it to his own party. The the older, ruder, <laughs> blonde hair boy. He's the like ruder little brother from uh, <laughs> night, of, night of the Demons, and the main the, the hairy armed girl who oh we're gonna have to God. talk a little bit Lord. about. But she Holy was shit. Uh, Carrie Rumson from uh, she was in Pumpkinhead. Was she in Pumpkinhead? <clears throat> she seemed familiar. Yeah. So hairy, hairy the, arms. She has very hairy Sarah arms. Oh my, uh, like, so bring hairy. you out of the movie, hairy arms. Like, I was... <laughs> they were saying the... it was the Robin Williams... Uh, yeah. 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 <laughs> it was unfortunate. Whoa. She's definitely Italian. And she is the, the the female love interest 
of the movie. It's She's like one of the harem dancers who it becomes part of a love triangle. Are we going to say oh, that? A love Where triangle? is the goddamn carnivals with strippers at? I want to go to this <laughs> car. Right. I've never the seen this The show's inside, shit. folks. You yeah. can see all this and Dude, more. The was, show's inside. I think this is part of like old time Yeah, they actually like, stuff. like old, yeah. like the, um, the, the Ringling Brothers and all them. Yeah. They, they would have like a gentleman section of the carnival. Yeah. But when did that stop? Yeah. 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 Like in the 80s, all these movies always have the peep show tent. So I'm just saying, when did this stop? And why did they keep bringing in movies? Did it stop and with us. Yeah, I don't know. I don't damn. remember it when I went to the, I think it was like, the circus or I think whatever. Yeah, I like, don't ever remember my dad know. being like, you go do this. You I, go, have I, to, I have to go do this for a minute. <laughs> I think it's like the 50s or something. It's in Something Wicked This Way Comes also. I'm the, sure. yes. the Bradbury yes. thing. Yeah. I'm sure it probably stopped in the 70s or 80s or something like that. The feminist move. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, it's probably around civil rights after that. Yeah, Somewhere in there. But there's, uh, <laughs> so there's a love triangle between the harem dancer, uh, the main guy, Larry, and... And Harden. The, uh, well, yeah, the hard, the hard one. I guess there's a love triangle. Really? This is, I mean, this movie I mean, just tries to be a, I mean, it just tries to be a story on so many fronts that like, you know, it's this thing where the guy wants to actually talk. To, this is the one scene I like about like the accountant character where, you know, you think he's going to come in and be like, yeah, sleep with me for your job. Uh, but then right. he's just like, oh, no, I looked up. You're, you're very talented. Why'd you quit this? You know, why'd you quit being a. He used a, to be a tightrope walker. Yeah. What, yeah. What's uh, and then he, you know, makes like a joke that doesn't land, and you're supposed to be like, "Oh man, he's not he's such a awkward. bad dude." You know, he's, he's just like, cute. you know, he gets a he gets a bad rap because he's the money man. He's got, you know. Well, we're also but it's for the boyfriend. It. The boyfriend, exactly. When they're walking out, the boyfriend's supposed to see them. Be like, <laughs> you like a, you know, did you have fun talking about your job? You know, yeah. blowing for your fucking. <laughs> Well, I was going to say the reason that you thought, or the we we all thought that he would, they were playing the you know, bad guy in a positive light, was because of the musical score. Uh, oh boy, which we have to talk about a little bit because it's terrible. Uh, the, <laughs> it's kind of like it's full house. They, well, they're doing these all really these very is, sentimental it's, 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 themes. Right. What did we learn today? That's yeah, yes. sentimental yes. themes in a ghoulies fucking movie. Right. Was. But what it's missing is whenever these you know. The scene when the ghoulies finally do escape from the main torture chamber mm. of the, oh, the funhouse and they get out into the carnival itself, like, and they're causing mayhem, you know, they're getting involved in all the acts and stuff like that. Oh, they're being gremlins. But it, but it was <laughs> missing the gremlins music. The grem, When gremlins are doing it, there's that, yeah, where it's like mayhem. But this was all like, I don't even remember there being uh, yeah, a dude. score there. It was or weird. even, like, even Critters had a... Yeah. yeah, it had a little like, it had, like a montage rock thing. theme. Yeah, there was something going on there. Right. Yeah, that. That's what you needed. Some kind of action <laughs> right. music yeah, missing. Is, right, that was really missing too. from this. There needs to be a monsters <laughs> causing mayhem <laughs> montage music. And yeah. I'm copywriting that right now. Monsters, yeah. Yeah. monsters making mayhem montage music. Yeah. Yeah. Monsters copywriting that. Mayhem, 2016. That would be the greatest hits collection or right something. Now. <laughs> monsters, mayhem, <laughs> monsters yeah. making mayhem montage music. So, but instead we get sentimental music played at do. all the very wrong times. Wrong yeah, times. The ghoulies never have anything to do. Never. Even when they're killing people, it's just like, do something. Like, it's like, <laughs> I know you're to, killing yeah. them, but do it. They have to introduce characters to wander into the funhouse so they can get obligatorily oh. Killed and then usually that becomes like, sh- they're getting killed by the ghoulies in front of the rest of the right. paying Who audience. Cheering it on, cheering, yeah. you know, by the, by implements mayhem. that were apparently like, dangerous to have in a fun house. Wait, is this the conceit of the movie? Is this the theme then going to that whole thing of like theme. old school horror is dying out and modern audiences want to see Just gore and people it. getting killed live? Maybe right hey, if you can find there. something in there. Because <laughs> I, you know, because I imagine like, oh, dude, ghoul, like little demons in a haunted house. Oh man, they're gonna be running around, getting into all the different scenes. No, no. Right, they're in yeah. one fucking room. I mean, yeah, there should be. Yeah, different they must have shot this movie in four days. Like all the ghouly scenes in four days or something. Well, it's one also room. like you know when you first see the truck, it's a semi. Granted, you know, pulling in, and, and then then you know the. Fun house is supposed to be dismantled and put inside of this thing. Yeah. And then when you see the fun house on the outside, it looks like a regular spook house or whatever. Yeah. But, but no the, track the system. Actual, yeah, right. All yeah, those was, things would have a track system. Yeah, That's yeah, how you those don't just wander through. You don't right. wander through a fucking yeah. right. But then when you get Weird. into it, it's cavernous. The fucking thing's huge. There's mm. multiple rooms. Every room <laughs> is gigantic. Right. It feels like there's no wonder. There's, it's not like. 
they would design it for you to like to funnel people in certain directions yeah. and everything. This is just you walk into a you giant wander, room, you wander around, and then you hang around like, what the fuck? Look, look at this, look Dracula's in the corner. Oh. Yeah. Right. Yeah, it's stupid. With with sharp objects that can kill you that should not be in a fun house. Yeah, even like why are these made this way? The fucking Christian morale, uh, <laughs> like haunted houses, are better than that. Oh <laughs> yeah. 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 Yes. They well, are. I don't <laughs> want to be a heroin addict. <laughs> like, those are scary. Get in a car accident. Got truck driving. Yourself. Yeah. Go to chicken wire hell. <laughs> <laughs> oh, chicken wire hell chicken scares wire. the shit out of me. Ah, you're so... Hey guys, I totally worked in that. Oh. <laughs> Right, Were you in Chicken there. Wire Hell? Chicken Holy Wire shit. Hell. Yeah. You just scream. Ah, I've been through Chicken Wire Hell. I don't want to go back. I it. It was awful. Dude. <laughs> Nothing was scarier than when you get to the end and be like, do you believe in Jesus? Well, they turn the big bright lights on and they're like blind you. I like yeah, that. Yeah, I just, just like, didn't like the, you know, they're like, we're going to give you something to drink when you get through here. And then they're waiting for everybody to pause. I was like, God damn, I'm getting out of here. Yeah. <laughs> they're going to wait for all of us to get here and then talk. Do you have a minute to, to talk to about, uh, about <laughs> right. your Lord and Savior? I got no problem with that. I just, you know, you know, yeah. Uh, so I like my preaching on Sundays. You know, that's what I. <laughs> right. Right. Not in my goddamn haunted house. <laughs> my fucking haunted right. house. I came here to get scared, <laughs> not scared. <laughs> So yeah, these people don't know what a haunted house is. They've never been to one. No, yeah, they don't it's know what a, a carnival one. is. Or <laughs> did, did you guys think it was weird that they didn't question why all these crowds were all of a sudden showing up and these kids talking about rats spitting stuff on them? Well, Nobody yeah, questioned it. Well, because you're supposed. This is why this is kind of a movie, right? They drop in scenes that are supposed to give you ideas, like because uh, the tone of the scene. Like you're supposed to get the idea, and I don't know if this is like rewrites, possibly, but like when. Doctor Fostos, when the the drunk uncle, when he's when he like when he thinks he brings them uh, brings the ghoulies um, to uh, whatever the world, Earth. yeah, thank you, Jesus, I can't to life, <laughs> summons consciousness. You're supposed Bring to get forth. the idea that like, oh, you know, they'd be he would think they're doing my bidding mm-hmm. and they're you know they're helping out, you know, but the movie mm-hmm. just doesn't do that. It just no, doesn't it go could, that yeah, way. Yeah, it could connect those. It could. They They'd could be like, think, oh, like, now hey, you're man, making it profitable. Like, Holy shit, Uncle! Your old phony book actually does work. You yeah. summon demons and right. they're helping us. Holy shit, great. we can remake. Oh my too. god! Until you yeah. find out, like, no, they're actually killing my ball. Yeah, there's that, a that's, better that's, story. They're actual, actual demons. demons. That's exactly <laughs> it. The plot points that I thought were going to connect never did. Yeah. exactly what you just said. Yeah, yeah. it's, it's better so stuff weird. In this. And I don't oh. like I said. I don't know if that's re because of rewrites or because like I said, when movies try to just have an emotional tone instead of like that scene wasn't about that mm. but the tone is like yeah see this is what you know this is the relationship you can tell by the music you know <laughs> <laughs> yeah feel like this because da, 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 I know exactly how you feel mm. my dad died da, 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 oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, that was oh, the big the time we, an extreme close up the really act. close yeah. up yeah. Yeah. but we find out why the harem dancer slash former why trapeze are you so, artist yeah, you're a fucking gymnast well, yeah. and you're a stripper now like why <laughs> because she lost her dad on a don't uh, they all unfortunate trapeze isn't it always daddy issues? accident it is in the circus in and the that uh, and I guess that ties into the other loss of character loss in this is uh, Larry's uncle yeah. becomes victim to the ghoulies, the ghoulies. in the aforementioned scene where he's wrestling the rubber creature on his uh, stomach <laughs> That's awesome. I want to be one of those guys. Yeah. In my life. So, you know, because but there was also a, a thing. Furry thing on you and just. <laughs> <laughs> one day we'll make that Screen happen. One day. We will. Great. There yeah. was also, here's this for the, like, the just to give you uh, folks an idea of the logic uh, plateau that this thing is working on. There's a group of kids that go into the, you know, our, our group of uh, victims, right? Goes into the fun house, becomes, uh, you know, attacked by the creatures, and then they escape. They summon the uh, cops, and they say, our friend is in there, and our tunes. You know, he broke his <laughs> oh, the tunes. That the tunes. joke you broke my tunes. never works, tunes. but they keep on bringing it up. Oh, so um, so, so the following night, the two kids who lost their friend come back, <laughs> yeah. and they're like, our friend's in there, so we're going in, For and like we don't have day. to. They're like, yeah. So he's seriously, you think that he's been in there for a day just hanging out? <laughs> yeah. You're coming back and, you know, we had to go home last night, but we'll, we'll, right. don't worry. He, I'm sure Greg's going to be fine. We're going to come back the next night. Yeah, curfew, fine. man. We had to go. Come yeah, back but, now. Yeah. We want to find him. Yeah. We left that, dude. And uh, the only reason they came back was, I guess, so they could be the evening's entertainment, right? They Apparently. get tied up and, you know. Yeah, yeah they're because in the 80s, like your dickhead. 
preppy guys or whatever, they have to be the victims. And, sure. you know, but this had like that really cartoony element of like them like going like, oh, this is serious, guys. Help me. <laughs> and the audience laugh. It's just like, this is a fucking Ninja Turtles cartoon. <laughs> but these were not preppies, Travis. These were metalheads because yeah. they oh, listened shit. to watch yeah, that's true. Scream until you these like it. These were hooligans. <laughs> <laughs> no, they were hooligans. But <laughs> well, there was also a comment made about these damn teenagers and their heavy metal music. That's probably. right. Well, that was for the same, like, the same lip service that, you know, they give to, like, movies like Trick or Treat. And, you know, they got the whole, like, oh, they think that the, 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 we got blacking all this on the soundtrack. <laughs> <laughs> and we're saying that that song was made for this movie. I think it was. It's the only song on the soundtrack that's like <laughs> that's you like know. by a people. Yeah, yeah, I think it or was, it was made purchased for this movie. off of it. Or at least yeah, purchased. maybe. So I'm not sure if that is on. Well, no, I don't. I have fucking no idea. But I think it feels there like is a good song. I'm pretty sure there is a music video that has like one of the ghoulies like in a blackie lawless wig oh, and hat that's or the something official, like that. Yeah. That's what I think. I'm pretty official sure, man. Though. I could be fucking mistaken. Hmm. But I'm, I think I've seen it. We will not research it. We will <laughs> no, go we, with that fact. It's up yep. for you. If you at home are like, holy fuck, I want to see a ghoulies uh, music video. Music video. Yeah. Uh, well, maybe we'll see put if it, we're lying. No, we'll, we'll put it on our Facebook page. There yeah. we go. Instant, yeah, incentive Instant, yeah. for you to go to our Facebook page. We'll see if we can find Saturday it Night Freak Show. Um, so yeah, I mean, so well, they end up figuring thing- out that like after this, and you know that we've you know everybody's compared notes and that they've you know lost the uh, somebody significant to them. Uh, now we have to deal with the these ghoulies. Yeah, they're actual demons. We have to stop it. You know? And the way we're going to do that is the book. Just because the Dr. Foss, the, his uncle told him he Fostle. summoned it. You know? Right. So we're so still going guys, on that. Book we'll that. That's where they came from in their view, right? Yeah, they right. don't know anything about them coming from a house, blah, 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 all yeah. that shit. In their mind, oh, yeah, my uncle raised it. So that means this book actually can summon demons and expel them. The only way to fight magic is with magic. Did you, in your research for this movie, Sean, mm-hmm. did you find out, was this script, because I know it was written by Dennis Paoli, who I want to say, mm-hmm. he works with Stuart Gordon, does the, I think he did uh, Reanimator from Beyond and maybe Dagon, but was this script, I wonder, written as a different movie than they said, let's somehow put Ghoulies in it? Not from what I've read. This was straight Ghoulies. Ghoulies 2. Straight Ghoulies 2. The only reason I'm asking them. is because like Happens that a whole lot. thing of the guy accidentally summoning the Ghoulies would make a more concise plot. Right. Because, the, I mean, you know, with the idea that we're going to use magic from the book to actually banish them. Right. You know, it's like, if he would have conjured them, this would all make sense. Because yeah, somehow right. magic now works from the book. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> what the hell? So they their their method is to expel these demons. They summon a giant demon, as you do, like in Critters. In, and, yeah. in Critters 2, then you have the, the ball, the, right? Yeah, right, yeah. Well, this, this, this is, has, there's a like, big the, critter too in in Critters too. There's a big critter, but isn't there? There is at the end of the. It's the no, it's critter, a no face, right? but yeah, he's it's still the, in it's it. It's one of the bounty hunters that sh- shape shifts uh, in Critters right, right, two. Right, right, right. But but in Critters one, there's a giant. There's a critter, giant one. Yeah. So this has yeah. the giant. Ghoulie. This has the giant. Ghoulie. Was there ever a giant? I don't think there was gremlin. No, no, no missed no, out. There was. Yep. Missed out. There was no because they went smart gremlin. Yeah. Who can talk and oh, smart just, gremlin. Yeah. Smart you don't gremlin. need a big giant lumbering gremlin. <laughs> and the goofy yeah, gremlin. Smart, who, 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 do, yeah, doofus or whatever. Yeah, the, yeah, the doofus gremlin. Yeah. Yeah. They didn't need they the had big lots gremlin. Of gremlin. No. They had right. so smart, many varieties that didn't need a big enough. one. Well, we were having a discussion while we were watching this movie, <laughs> so we're not entirely sure, but it <laughs> seems like they either buy this magic spell conjure a new giant ghoulie or they somehow make the lizard like uh, uh, aquatic the green amphibian ball one. one they make him gigantic and he wanders around eating the rest of the ghoulies which is weird. well they make him gigantic and whether he's the big version of the little guy he never does eat the little thing. guy well, he never, but well, I don't know. The little guy. That's just a sound effect, though. Like the end of Fright Night, right? Yeah. Like, is that Evil Ed, or they're just right. using uh, a clip from the very movie? True. Very true. Evil Ed was dead. Your, it's just your yeah, end. Yeah, that's still that's very the, true. Uh, but I think he was the little one because the first like Latin word he says is gigantis. Mm-hmm. Da, da, da. And yeah. I'm like, okay, he, he just made something gigantic. But it could that's be true. summoning just a giant spirit. That's I don't know. Yeah, true. I suppose it doesn't because we don't see the little green guy again. We have. But why he wants to eat him? I don't know. 
Like, well, because it, it was he's just spell. like, well, I'm a bigger demon now. I'm going to eat the other demons. Right. That's what I demons do. assert my dominance. Which I do like that. That's but cool. maybe, but like, they don't maybe, give you anything. That's my Maybe story. him eating the other demons was in the incantation. It's like, you will grow right. big, and then you and will hungry, eat the other yeah. demons. That's what I could have figured. Maybe, that's yeah. what I figured. It's Why like, is that in that book he has? That's the, like, there should have been a close-up of the book. It's like the, in big red letters, just in case. Like, say this incantation. Yeah. That's where it should have been. In case of ghoulies. In case of ghoulies. <laughs> yeah. He did write Reanimator, by the way. Did they? I now forget what happened to Harden, the evil. Uh, well, guy he, who went was to the to take he went to the bathroom. He went to the bathroom. Oh, that's right. God damn it! He's yeah. the one that gets it in the end. Yeah, that you he, don't see. He really is written specifically for this movie because people were disappointed that that never happened in the first one. Yeah. Funny. So he sits so, on the toilet. The thing comes up, and apparently in one shot, his abs off. they're just like ah. You just see his face screaming. That's it's it. Not that's like, all you need to do. He doesn't eat his. We've ass been off. putting so much effort into making movies. All you need to do is show one <laughs> shot of a dude screaming on a toilet, and that's. Well, you have the to tone, establish that there is something in the, in the toilet. Yes, so there's which is suspense. also not that hard. Yeah, there's something in the toilet. Guy comes in, takes his shit. You see his face. He's screaming. That's that's it. All that's that it, it. takes. That's all you need. But I say to you, as a rebuttal, that's why I didn't remember that it happened. Because but there should have been yes. blood. Yeah, blood should have like psh, right up on his face. Or as he's screaming, just like that tower of blood is. Uh, or like the little monster looks at him with his dick in his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> that's prime. More, yeah, more know, right? memorable. Trust me, I shivered when I thought. <laughs> more <that>. memorable. <laughs> yeah. That's more. Gross. Well. And then the giant, they get rid of in his mouth. They get rid of the giant asshole in a mouth. Looks like. <laughs> 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 what is that? Well, you mean it's we never shall been make done? that movie? There you go. Asshole, in, that. asshole in the mouth. That would, that's a horrible. Movie. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway. And they get rid of the big giant ghoulie by uh, having it ingest a fake version of Phil Fonda Carlo in the, yeah, uh, the demon suit. That's another yeah. part of the story that, that doesn't link. You're supposed to assume, or the, the ghoulies are supposed to think, oh man, here's another fucking demon because there was little little people in the first one that are like what there are higher demons from hell. Right. He, like, he summons them, he's like, you should work. It's for like, me. It's yeah, like, it's like the right. ghoulie, the ghoulies are a little like. Little like workers, and then there's actual like just little people demons yeah. that are like the more the, the, I don't know. yeah, but they're like dumb like henchmen. They're the dumb henchmen of the ghoulies world. Mm. Yeah, just it's like, so weird. He said, "Do this, no," and then they fight each other. They're just yeah, like, "No, what are you comedy. doing wrong?" So the ghoulies are supposed to think, "Well, this guy's also a demon," you know, and yeah. you'd imagine there should have been some sort of either like a bonding or. Or, uh, yeah. you know, a another scene. missed opportunity. Another fucking missed opportunity. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. They should have just been like, hey, this guy's okay. He's another demon. Yeah. But but they still <laughs> want you to fire, think that it's... because they dress something. Like, I don't even know what it is. They dress the it was costume. His yeah, costume. but I'm saying, what are they dressing in? Oh, yeah. You no, know? It just assumes that anything that size like, and stuff furry in it and... is yeah. another ghoulie yeah. that it has to eat. So it just eats it, and it, like, you got a weird, like, little, like, Edit more about it with three did. like edits like close 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 boom yeah that's those that's my favorite edit out of shitty it's horror movies it's done so badly it though. is it's so they, bad they cut, like, it, oh, instead close, of being close, one close, like you're supposed going to out. zoom right? right and then just cut along the zoom but this right. one takes three <laughs> different camera <laughs> angles so you're disoriented <laughs> <laughs> but, on left, this right, like left, statue right. of the thing standing there, wa- waiting for the explosion to go off. There's also yeah. that scene, like when the very first girl dies. There's that scene where it's supposed to be one of those scenes where she screams, and then you go to the amusement park right outside, and the screaming crowd right. is supposed hear to, the scream. and they fucking just totally yeah, miss they it. Blew it's it. just like what yeah. the fuck? Yeah. yeah, they like the whole reason of doing that type of cut is to like match those two screams. Mm-hmm. Right, fucking they didn't ridiculous. Do it at all. Yeah, Dick, like they just <laughs> forgot in the editing. They're like, dude, it's a ninety-minute movie. How am I supposed to remember every little thing that's supposed to happen? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Jesus. Jesus Christ. I'm probably the sixth director you, or editor you've had on this. <laughs> I ain't working for this shit. I recognize his name, too, but now I can't remember yeah. who the hell He's just he the guy that got the credit. You don't know who right. came yeah. before. Yeah. Yeah. Just, his name's just on the screen. Yeah. <laughs> they, fuck you, band. And, <laughs> and how does it wrap up, then? Because that's about the end, end, as far as I remember. They blow the thing up, it's, it goes down to hell. Then they get in the car and drive off, which is like the end. That's it, right? All. And I guess yeah, I think so. You, I think we've right. uh, gone through that. And- Igor! Igor, where are you? Masters, masters, the mail. I've got the mail. So many letters. Our followers are rising, rising.
And thank you, Igor. Thanks, Igor. As always, uh, Igor brings our mailbag. And if you want to write Igor, us, put it down. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All you have to do is write into us at on Facebook at Saturday Night Freak Show. We're on there. We're also Sat Freak Show on Twitter. You can email us at <clears throat> uh, Saturday Night Freak Show at Yahoo.com. Hey, we're also on YouTube. Oh, shit. And so we're going to read some YouTube That's comments new. tonight. As I'm just YouTube trolling back. Comments? YouTube Yay. comments. <laughs> That should be the reaction to everybody's in, like, we're going to read some YouTube comments tonight. And then everybody else goes, YouTube comments? <laughs> <laughs> These are really old, though. I just found oh, out that, because we didn't, oh, we, we were neglectful in our like, we management got comments from Guyver One. of the YouTube channel. So uh, Steve Brescia writes in, Buffalo 66 <laughs> is an absolute indie masterpiece from its intrinsic theme, explora- explanation of characters, acting, and even the music selection at the end. You guys missed the whole story. You don't even know what being a critic is. Mm. Damn. That's probably, that's actually pretty, pretty true. We're doing this for fun. It was over my head. I couldn't understand all that. Yeah, we had some that, problems with that movie. All that, that was, uh, I wasn't denim. there, so. <laughs> <laughs> you can, yeah, you can claim ignorance for some of these. Thanks. And wow. uh, on Daughters of Darkness, okay. Juan Ramirez. Juan Ramirez from Highlander? Uh, he writes in, this is great. I love obscure, off-the-wall, arty horror movies like Daughters of Darkness, which is one of my favorites. This discussion is awesome by the fact that it exists at all. Yeah, take yeah. that to the bank, the other guy. <laughs> yeah. 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 He that gets it. That includes our first and last he gets it. <laughs> YouTube comments. <laughs> that other and guy done. deserves it. All right, so now we have to summon Lurk. The hour has come, sirs. Thank, thank you, Lurk. So this, Thanks, Thanks, Lurk. Lurk. Um, you're looking oh. good. So thank this you. brings us to right, the wrap-up. I don't think he likes us. <laughs> I mean, she can don't still say hear that you. too loud. <laughs> it's just not, he's, mm. he's looking at us. <clears throat> so that brings us to the uh, wrap-up segment of the show, where we're going to go around the room and tell you what we thought individually of Ghoulies 2, and that begins with Travis. I've always hated Ghoulies 2. <laughs> I still hate Ghoulies 2. Um... Well, that was quick, uh, Colin. Yeah, it, it is almost that quick. Like, yeah, I like some of the monsters, and I like the monster designs. I mean, if I need to get a positive out of it, um, you know, but they don't fucking have nothing to do. They're not, like, that vicious. They're not that, mis- if they're mischievous, they would have left the one fucking room they're in, like, right. you know. Go, like, to one extreme or the other. Yeah. Budget they restraints, don't. gentlemen. I Budget get it, but fucking shit. That's, like, too much. I mean, we're already dealing with, like, you only need to film the fucking top half of the goddamn puppet. <laughs> you know, or just something. You just need something. You can't just have, like, I know, we'll put a monster in this one room, and as, as people wander in that one room... They get killed. It's like, that's fucking boring. You know, that's just a dumb idea. So I don't think Ghoulies 2 needed to happen. Like, Ghoulies 1 is awful on its own. <laughs> like, it didn't need to. Uh... <laughs> but I can see why it happened, you know. Uh, I mean, I liked Ghoulies 1 when I was a kid. Um, you know, that Buffalo 66 thing rubs me the wrong way. You guys <laughs> really liked it. And, like, we're, we did. like, you know, we're really, like... The fact you guys should be more pissed off about that. It's like <laughs> we don't understand. We like we the did. motherfucker. We did. We're like, there's thought in this. There's a message. There's buffoons. You didn't know that movie was about. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. yeah. Right. So yeah. Ghoulies Two is, is equally horrible as Buffalo Sixty Six. Probably. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah, I just don't like it. I've never liked the Ghoulies movies. I want to like the Ghoulies movies. I like the Boglin toys. I like monsters. <laughs> we like Mad Balls. Like, like fucking this. Mad Balls, dude. I will read a Mad Ball comic. That's how much I like Mad Balls. <laughs> Spot, I just can't get behind Ghoulies. Um, I like uh, Scream Until You Like It, the theme song from Ghoulies. To, um, but I've just never... The, the concept, like, from going from part one to like, oh, man, a kid raises demons that is going to follow him and power corrupts him, blah, 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 blah. Mm. To, like, the monster sneak aboard a carnival? It's just fucking stupid right from the get-go. I'm like, I don't... Yeah, so I would definitely skip it. Not even fucking funny. Not even, like, funny entertaining. Just, just that. They're monsters. I like monsters, but, man, they're monsters. Yeah. <clears throat> well, 
<clears throat> I'm trying to remember. At one point, I actually thought that Ghoulies 2 was better than Ghoulies 1. Mm. Whether that's that was still your proclamation true before, before you we see were it. watching because this. Because <laughs> the first time that I saw it, I saw it on a double feature. I think, you know, somehow I got a hold of the disc. I thought, again, Travis has no memory of this, so either I'm dreaming it or whatever. But I remember, I thought that Travis brought over Ghoulies 1 and 2 when we watched them at one point many years ago. And now it's, you know, whatever. But somehow I saw them in. You this know, feels like a joke. It does. I just want to call it, attention to this. This feels like a joke. I don't know why. That Travis is now Travis eating a banana. Travis is now like, eating banana. Never seen a brother like, eat fruit. <laughs> he's, he's, it's like he's no, eating the banana bit. at you during it, yeah, your no. wrap-up. It's, like, it's like he's trying to distract him. <laughs> like it, it seems like a bit. But continue. I hope continue. no one slips on this later. <laughs> uh, but on that initial viewing, I remember hating Ghoulies 1 and thinking by putting them back to back, Ghoulies 2 seemed better than Ghoulies 1. Mm. Now it's been a while since I've seen them both. <laughs> and now watching this tonight was like, oh, man. Yeah, it's not bad enough to be funny. It's boring. Uh, it's almost, I don't know if it is completely enough. You said it was Charles Band's dad, Albert, Albert Band, Band yes. directed this. Yes, It's like he, yeah, I mean, a combination between the directing and the editing or the screenwriting or something like the whole thing just does not gel together. There's, mm -hmm. uh, I mean, from the director directorial point of view, like everything's shot really stagey and actors are just let to go and like run off, you know, kind of in these where they're isolated in the frame and you just kind of feel like I want to get in there and help them because they're just off there, you know, doing their own <laughs> yeah. shit without a... Uh, uh, you know, like a backup or any kind of uh, safety net. Mm -hmm. um, and then the editing, like... It's funny because is... that's how her dad died. Oh, yeah, shit! Yeah. Ah, safety nets! <laughs> Missed it. But it's also Boom. the editing's <laughs> terrible. You know, it's like things just don't seem to cut together very well. You've got basically a lot of scenes where you'll be in a room where I think you're supposed to get the idea that, like, all the characters are there. There's ghoulies in the corner, there's a main characters in the middle, and there's a crowd of people on the side. None of them are ever shot in the same shot. <laughs> no, they're not. And it's like, hey, get those kids out of here. And then it cuts to the scene of the kids, like, getting out of there, and you're like, did they film this all in the same day? I don't know. Yeah, very weird the way it was put together. And, uh, you know, the script, like we were talking about, has all these dangling mm -hmm. plot points which could connect in a way that would maybe make a more satisfying movie but it doesn't. So it's and the and I really hated the rubber puppets. I don't know. I was like, even for the sculpture of them, like maybe from a distance and in the dark, you might be able to like get something off these. But they're brightly lit and they're right up close, mm -hmm. and they're supposed to be these animatronic, you know, creatures. But they just look, you know, like something. It is like the bargain basement of, uh, you know, horror movie monsters. So yeah, I mean, if you've got in this cycle or genre you've got gremlins probably at the top and then you've got critters which you know i mean i think i gave critters a little bit of a hard time but compared to this you did you hate little monsters right you don't like I, little I, monsters. I don't like little monsters but i don't like these the least of all <laughs> <laughs> and i haven't seen munchies but i'm never going Problem. to oh oh you wait, will wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, give it a month. I got another pick coming up, buddy. You're doing sequels. Hopefully there was no munchies, too. Oh, munchies, too. Shit. So, yeah, I'm going to say avoid, like, the plague, all the ghoulies movies. Fair enough. Um, I'm, yeah, Colin, I agree with you once again. Um, I always try to find the, the positives in what we watch. and. But if there are none? Yeah, that's the thing. <laughs> um. I didn't mind, like we said earlier, I did not mind the acting in, in this as far as Larry and um, um, Sir Nigel. Was that his name? Yes. Yeah. I, the acting didn't really bother me, which a, a lot of stuff we watch, that's the case. But this one, not so much. I, I, it wasn't awful. Um, I got to agree with the monsters. Just not feeling it. I, I wanted to, but it, it just seemed like a joke that never that never happened, you know? Like, I kept waiting for it to, like, oh, it's supposed to be funny, but mm. I don't think it was. It's in the comedy <laughs> section on Voodoo where we rented it from. We oh. paid money to rent this. It's in the comedy section. We did. Oh, well, it was just boring. It was so boring. I I almost fell asleep maybe once or twice. A little bit. But, and then the plot points, like, like we said, they didn't connect the way I feel like they should have. There was missed opportunities all throughout the movie. Like, especially the uncle was supposed to be a magician. They never really played on never. that other, other than <laughs> yeah, the book. Not a fucking thing. Like, he just, he ran, he ran the the fun house, the freak show house. Like, there, 
why was he a magician? Like, did he ever have an act? They never really talked about that at all. Um, there was just so many missed opportunities. Um, and it wasn't funny. If it was funny, I'd say yes, but it wasn't. So I gotta say pass. And I think that's it. I think, uh, with Ghoulies 2 and, uh, well, with Ghoulies 2, I think it's, uh, we get monsters in a situation where they're just right down the middle. Like we talked about, they're not an extreme of any sort. They're not really funny. They're not really vicious. So we get kind of mid- middling, <laughs> mediocre monsters that don't really do much of anything. That and we get a script. Like we said, they're like, there's possibilities within this story, but this, they never go there and they never decide to explore those areas. There's so much um, potential in a carnival. There kind of right. really there is. is. There's right. so much potential. There, I, like, I've seen Are You Afraid of the Dark episodes yes. that are more interesting yes. and entertaining and scary than this movie. Um, I know I picked it. But uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> but I think in my heart, what I really wanted to do was fuck us. <laughs> <laughs> now, be, it being the Ghoulies, and I think that name alone is sort of like it's, awesome. an, it's an identifiable. <laughs> yeah. It's an identifiable name. If nothing else, you know the poster art. You should license uh, the shit out of it. But I think you should see. And I don't know which one. I think you should see one. Definitely not four. Four can fuck off and nobody should ever see that ever again. But I think you should see out of one, two, and three, you should probably see a Ghoulies movie. Why? See one. Now, no, no. I think you should actually see, see a Gremlins movie instead. No. Yes. It, is, it yes. is the lower tier of the small monster movies. Colin named it. We got Gremlins. Although I I really Gremlins like I really, I really like Critters, so I put Critters yeah. above most everything else. Um, and then Ghoulies is at the very bottom. I would actually recommend. I, I don't recommend this movie. I recommend Ghoulies Three because no, that's no. Ghoulies Go to College because that's the movie it's for that free is. On you? It is, but that's the movie <laughs> that's that's so bad that you can laugh at it mm. and there's boobs. I was gonna oh. say, just tell them why. But that's but no, but that's why <laughs> because if nothing else, if you're bored throughout the entire movie, you have boobs. Right. Yeah. And but I think from what I remember, that's the one I I've watched the most growing up. Like that's the one where like Ghoulies Go to College. I don't remember if you said was there gore in that one. I think or is it just the boobs? I think there's more... There's more... I remember the boobs. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> 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 I don't Fair remember enough. the gore. I remember the boobs. I'm sure there is gore, but it is more... It is more uh, laughable. It's more entertaining, okay. I think, in that regard. Which is what just, we all wanted, I think, it, I think tonight. it really yeah. is. And watching this tonight, I'm like, I should have gone for Ghoulies 3. Yeah. Mm. I really should have. But I think it's more Ghoulies just doing dumb shit. Like... I think that veers more into the funny. If they're going to go into extreme, that's where they go. So, uh, watching this tonight, yeah, mm, probably don't watch Ghoulies 2. Go watch Ghoulies Go to College. That's where you want to be. <laughs> that's where you can get your entertainment. But uh, let's get this one. Watch a Ghoulies, but not this one. There, there it is. You go. All right, so uh, next week we're going to be watching a movie chosen by Holly. Oh, shit. Yeah! Holly, what are we watching? We're watching Legend. The oh, Ridley Scott, Ridley Scott's legend, Tom Cruise fantasy epic. Yes, those words together make me feel uneasy. Have you seen this movie? Uh, I've seen parts of it. Oh. I know what you're talking oh, boy. about. Oh um, boy, Tim Curry. I know Tim Curry. Amazing. Amazing. Oh yes. yeah, it looks awesome. He does. It's gonna be a good time, guys. Okay. Well, that'll be next week on the Saturday Night Freak Show. And until then, the basement is going dark. <laughs>